Hey everyone, um, I thought I would jump on the train doing vlogmas and of course my dog has to go crazy this minute. I'm gonna give you an update. Um, why not? I'm not gonna edit any of these, so I'm just gonna literally use my phone and I hope the microphone is okay. I have an iPhone 14, which it's, it's not that old. Come here! She doesn't want to be caught now. Um, but the microphone keeps turning on and off. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya. I am 49 years old. I have three children. One is my biological daughter, she's 11. And I have twins that are about to be two years old this coming January 22nd um, that I conceived through embryo adoption. I went to the Czech Republic to pick them up, <laughs> pick them up. Um, yeah, and I feel like I'm not done. Come on, um, I feel like I'm not finished. I felt that right after I gave birth to the twins, like a few days after I was like, I know of course hormones, right? But it never went away. That feeling of like, there is another baby that wants to join our family. And I don't know why I always had this, like it's a girl. I would actually love to have another boy. So our boy has another brother. <laughs> I don't care, but uh, we are, I had a, consult, a consultation with a clinic in Poland and um, I'm actually right now, I'm in the process of filling out all the paperwork. The problem is it's all in Polish. So I haven't like, I've kind of gotten stuck. I asked them if they have the forms like in English and they said, no, they only have them in Polish. Now I'm gonna ask them if they can help me translate because it's like tedious work. There's so much information they want about like the phenotype and stuff like that. It would be much easier, easier if I had a translation. I don't want to make a mistake. This is important stuff, like about all the details about us and, you know, his, history. And of course, I'm going to have to have a bunch of tests done. Here's where I am right now. I don't know what it is. I'm about to go through menopause, I guess. Maybe, you know, like the pregnancy and all that. It was a lot for my body and I feel like maybe it triggered menopause because I haven't had a regular cycle. Like now, I don't know how long it's been, probably two months and I haven't had a circuit cycle. I had two or three cycles that were kind of close, close together. And then before that, again, my body took like three months rest. However, of course, we all know that there are uh, medications we can take to help that a little bit and there's it's still possible. As long as a woman has a healthy uterus, uh, we can still have babies. You know, I get some comments, <laughs> really 99.9% .9 of all the comments are so positive and I want to encourage someone. I want to encourage women who feel like they might be too old, but there are options out there. Might not be with your own eggs anymore at that age, of course, but uh, having a healthy baby is absolutely possible. And if you're open to the you know, to the possibility of it not being your biological child, embryo adoption is an amazing option. So this is where we are. It's been so, I don't like the word busy, but I've been doing a lot with my business. I have so much fun with my business and there has been so much going on and I feel like I can't tear myself away from the screen. It's been really horrible. So one thing that happened last week, um, last week, Monday, I wanted to pick up the laundry basket and our puppy which she just barked and she just hasn't i wanted to show her to you i'm gonna show her uh, but she came upstairs and the twins were still asleep i didn't want her to run into the bedroom so i took her put her on top of the laundry basket and i picked up the laundry basket with her on top the angle was really bad like it was kind of far away from my body so you know the leverage is like and then i felt it right away it's like Oh, I just think I just pinched a nerve in my lower back, the sciatic nerve on my left. So it was like all day long, it, there was pain. It wasn't too terrible. And then two days later, I get up and I'm like, I can't walk anymore because the right sciatic nerve is now also pinched. Weird. Probably I compensated and I felt like something was so off. I mean, it was so horrible. I was in such pain. I could not straighten out my back i had to walk hunched over and that resulted in my entire back all the way up to my shoulders being it was tense as a rock it was so hard the muscles hardened so much because of that compensation it was so horrible i was in so much pain 
and I was like, I hope this gets better. I mean, I put warmth on it, took a warm bath and everything. But, you know, the next morning it was better. And today it's almost back to normal. Uh, but that was a scare. And that made me realize, like, dang it. I'm going to take a half hour off my work day. And I'm just going to go ahead and work out. I just got through doing a little workout. And I have to start slow again. It's crazy to believe that I worked out until I was about 20 uh 34 weeks pregnant with twins i could hardly move anymore um let around turn around in bed uh let, let, let alone turn around in bed i can't speak um but now it's, it's like i have to start all over again because i spent such a long time I, I would never i never would have believed that i would take off such a long time not working out but it's literally not possible. When the twins are around, I try to do some squats. I try to do some exercises. I could do that for about 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, maybe sometimes even five minutes. But then they want to they wanna be on top of me and climb, like climb up and be held and be, I don't know. It's And the puppy too. <laughs> so now it's like two little kids and they're toddlers now. And it's kind of insane because they get into everything. My daughter was not that destructive, but the twins, they break everything, basically. They tear, they tear off wallpaper. They, they got a hold of a pencil yesterday. And like just five minutes, I was in the kitchen wanting to make something to eat. And then it was all over the chairs and the shelves. And I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> they're so destructive. And on top of that, yeah, I why do I have to do this to myself? Now we get a puppy. Nelly. I got her, I got her, I got her. She always wants to run away with me. This is Nelly. This, she, we, she is, it's not like we haven't brushed her. She, this is a Bichon Frise. They are lovely little doggies. But we do need to clip her, like, around her face and her, around her legs. That needs to be clipped. We need to get some clippers. Um, she's, she was born in May, so she's now... She's about to be seven months, um, but she's so, she's sweet and she is so sweet with the twins and she's a small dog. You know, she's, she was so tiny when he, when we got her, we got her in August. Um, but and the crazy thing is like, this dog does not shed at all. These dogs don't shed. I can't believe it. She's on the couch all the time. No hair. I lose more hair than this dog loses hair. Um, and they don't stink. She hardly smells of dog. I have never had a dog that doesn't stink of dog. When she's wet, maybe a little bit. But it's just, isn't she sweet, right? And this around her eyes too. This is not, we clean that. But it's because the hair is so, we need to clip like in her face. It grows all the time. We, we've clipped it with scissors, but it hangs in her ears, uh, in her eyes. And normally you clip on the head too, and then they look like this puffy cotton ball um she's not clipped now but it's also winter it's extremely cold so we we feel like maybe her legs and her face but nothing else so that's the update um i'm gonna add some footage of the twins um to this and i'm gonna try to capture a few things i can't say how much i love these babies uh but here's a question to everyone to all the moms is it just me like my kids, they're just now two years old and they're just now beginning to sleep through the nights. We don't, we never did sleep training. I always had them with me in my bed because two babies, it's like, I'm not going to be up all night. And I don't know, my mother and six, it's just me. I don't ever judge anyone for doing anything. If you have twins and you need to get some shut eye, do what you think is right. But I could, my instinct was always, when a baby starts crying, I want to cuddle and I want to, you know, want to hold it. I could never, I could never let my babies cry. It's just me. I can't, I can't. Um, and sometimes they do drive me off the rockers. I mean, there have been moments where I cried so much and I was like, I was almost about to lose it. And before I lose it, I put them down, go out the room, take a deep breath. I'm like, you freaking make me insane. I vent and then I get back because it's, you know, it's not their fault. They're little they're, they're babies. Um, they're starting to talk now and I'm going to try to catch, capture some footage. What we do is we live in Germany. So we try to, 
um, here's the thing. How do we do the bilingual thing? We watch, when we watch um, like cartoons and stuff, we watch all the English stuff. So what are the things? Bounce Patrol, Coco Melon. What's the other thing? Um, uh, there's a few Germans, but like those are the two main song channels that we watch all the time. And so they count in English. Yes, they actually count to 10 in, and in German. And they know all the animal sounds in German and in English and try to get some footage of this. And they can do the ABCs. We always sing the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on and so on. They totally do it. Like, not extremely clearly yet, but I can totally hear that they're trying to repeat exactly what they heard. So, um, I, you know, it, it's amazing. Now they're starting to talk and they're saying all kinds of st stuff. Like, Emil always is like, oops. <laughs> Or they, he always says danke, which is thank you in German, danke, bitte, which is you're welcome, or here you go. Um, he says it all the time because we always say it, and then they repeat, and it's so cool. And then every time, Emil says that all the time. When Lola cries, he's like, oh, faint, which means, oh, cry, <laughs> cries, she cries. And now they're starting to say entire sentences. He says, wo ist die Mama, which means, where is mom? And he says, like, Da is the Lola, which means there is Lola, his sister. And it's so neat. I mean, I know it's it's crazy, right? Every human being, we all speak and no one thinks anything of it. But when you have children and they start something that is like a huge milestone in becoming more of a grown human, you know, getting closer to and speaking is such an important thing. It's so amazing, right? You're like, wow. I mean, you like for almost two years, you have these little creatures and they're like, dad, dad, blah, blah. You don't understand what they want, which is sometimes so frustrating for both sides, right? They can't tell you what they need or want. So all they can do is like, ah, <laughs> and they just scream, which has been massive sometimes where, you know, Emil, he's a real boy. He is like strong headed. When he doesn't get what he wants, he just, he loses it. He just like just throws himself down on the floor. And I have decided I am not going to take those twins to the store for a while. It's been insanity when we did. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. They, they're they just... My older daughter was not that way. It, she was so good. She, I would sit her in the, in the cart and she would sit there. Maybe I'd give her a package of something to hold on to. Everything was fine. The twins... No way. Maybe five minutes, they will sit in the cart, tops, or in the stroller. And then, you know, we can go for walks wherever with a stroller. But when there's stuff to be looked at, and like in a store, they are not going to have it to just sit there. They're like, oh, wait a minute. I want to get into this stuff. What is this? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm going to wrap it up because we're going to have more chances to chat in the Vlogmas. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, and then... The footage of the twins will be right here inserted. Talk later. Hey, Lola. Blau. Blau. He says it's blue. He recognizes all the blue and the purple now. And he says blue, blau is the German word for blue. And he's looking for all blue stuff. Amy, is this blau? Is that blue? Yay! Blau! Blau, yeah! That is blau. Outside it looks pretty blue too. <laughs> it's, see, um, you can see the snow on top of the roof of the neighbors. Hey, and there's our little one. I have another, another child right Blue. here. Blau. It's like, wo ist die Mama? <laughs> Whoopsie. And they love still drinking their water bottles. Um, and they, they just drink water. Um, sometimes, like maybe once yeah. a day, they get like a bottle of milk. Um, and I think it really helps them. I feel like when they drink whole milk, um, sorry for the TMI, but it's like their, um, 
they have better stool. <laughs> so, crazy ones. I love you two pieces. I love you so much. I love you so much. Baby, just slip a sable under the tree. Okay. Guck mal, so, er so richtig höflich. Mit Hand vom Mund, damit wir nicht sehen, wie er kaut. Und Lola so. Und das auch lustig. Mm. Daher mm. kommt Picky Eater, weil sie pickt sich die raus. So, ich probiere dann nochmal. Das ist ziemlich warm heute, der Hus. Ja, los, du schaffst das. Ja, du hast Erbsen. Yay! Guck mal, da ist noch eine Erbsen. Emil betet. Jetzt? Los, ess was. Die hat noch eine Erbsen gesehen. Und da ist noch eine Erbsen da. Ich 